everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums, and this is Crafty Goals 2024. This is a collab where several of us share what we are able to accomplish each month, hoping to inspire you to open up that paper and use it, and also if you're able to smash some of your stash. It seems to be a theme this year that everyone wants to use up things they have. It doesn't mean we're not going to buy new stuff, but it does mean that we are going to try to use up what we have. I, for one, like to not only make a project, but then make other projects until I don't have anything left. This was one of the big projects I made this past month. It was using this fabulous collection from Graphic 45 called Let's Get Artsy. Um, fun, bright colors, and it was a lot of fun to do. I used a tutorial that already was on my channel, and I'll um, put up here, here in the video the uh, link to it so you can click on it, and then when this video is over, you can go to check out the walkthrough of this, and in that description box, it tells you the tutorial. It was a fun album to make, just again, because it was such bright colors. But after I finished this, I made this little notepad that I am going to give out to someone because today I am at a retreat. We're going to be starting the retreat tomorrow, but um, I'll meet some of the people today and we will have fun and uh, just enjoy meeting other crafty people. So I'm going to pass out some of these. I don't know to who. We'll, we'll see. I don't, I don't have a lot, but I have a couple. Um, but I did smash this paper pad, so I was glad that I did that. Now, look at this picture. So, see the pile on the left? That is what I smashed in April. See the pile on the right? That is what I purchased in April. So, I have some work to do. I've been doing really good. Uh, here is... Here is my list of things that I have in my stash. As you may know, I live and travel in my RV, so I don't have a, all that space to, to store a lot of things, which is why I want to smash my stash. I did use my uh, Graphic 45 Let's Get Artsy collection. I did use my Little Ladybug. I was hoping to... Oh, I did, I did do a project with Wildflower. I still have berry fields that I want to do. These were from other retreats that I wanted to finish the project. Um, I got a couple of papers from um, design teams. I did do a project with uh, a simple stories collection called The Little Things. I can't show it to you because it is a retreat project. If you paid for the virtual retreat... No, I'm sorry. This wasn't retreat. This was for the... Seasons of Creativity. It's a really cool idea. It's an album with removable pages, but it's for only people who purchase the retreat. And this is through Country Craft Creations. If you want to find out more about their retreats, you can go ahead and go online and um, see all the fun things they have to offer. I also used up some paper uh, from a couple of other collections that I made these little notebooks. Our friend on our Crafty Goals collab, Heather, she's listed in the description box, uh, shared a tutorial on making these a little while ago, and they've been my go-to on smashing up uh, papers after I'm done. It just makes the most adorable books, and, you know, whether you have big pieces of paper or small pieces, you can add them to these a uh, cute little book. So I'm not going to tell you how to do it. Check out Heather's tutorial because she was the first one to share that with me. Close book. There we go. Um, Pretty much that's it. I am traveling this. Well, I'm traveling for, for a while now. So let's go to my Crafty Goals book. There is a tutorial on how I made this using the Graphic 45 life is abundant collection um and actually let me let me check off things i did that's always fun to do so i wanted to use three collections berryfield wild flower and a mystery the mystery was a mystery to me i didn't know but i did do let's get artsy so i use that i use wildflowers i have not done the project with berryfields but that's okay 
um, use my stash. I want to use more than I buy. Um, yeah, no, but I was planning on not buying anything until I was at the retreat and I am here. And that's why I went a little crazy. There will be multiple haul videos of these things. I think the doodlebug haul video already is out. Projects for the month. I wanted to mail out the cards. I did do that. I mailed out a bunch of cards this month. Did not do the berry field. I did use wildflowers. I did use the mystery. I did take photos and get my things in Etsy. I did do a major studio cleanup. And when I'm saying major, I go through every box, every bin, every drawer, every tote, every inch of my studio. I mean, after every project, I do a pretty big clean. But because we had been stationary in our RV, uh, where my studio is, and we we're getting ready to travel, I felt like I needed to do a major clean and prepare to travel. It was just, um, just making sure all my ends were tied up. So I accomplished some, not everything, but that's all right. It gives me something to work for. My deadlines, I did finish my birthday bash uh, commitment, and I did finish all of my retreat projects that were for design teams. My goal for May is one project, because here's why. I'm going to be traveling. We're going to meet up with some people, and we're going to be doing a bunch of hikes, a bunch of exploring. So I just... No, I'm not going to have time. So I want to do one project. I, I think that's good. I don't want to commit, overcommit. Deadlines and commitments? None. What? What? No commitments? No, I don't. I, I uh, told my design teams that I will not be able to do anything in the month of May. Projects for the month? None. None that I'm planning if I have time and I do stuff. Yay and um use my stash use more than i buy obviously i didn't but i do need to list my new collections on my and half by 11 sheet uh yeah so i'm gonna have to take these that i write in and put them in here take out the ones that i've used and sort of start all over so i can check off things that i've done the thing the thing I plan on doing while I'm traveling is all of these partial paper pads I'm going to smash in some way, whether I make these cute little notebooks or whether I make smaller mini albums or just cards. It depends on how much I have left. So that is what I'm planning on doing. Um, you know, it's just a way of using my stash and not growing it too much. I have been planning on shopping at Country Craft Creations for some time. It's nice to go to the store, but you know, they do do online shopping. They ship very quickly, very efficiently. Everything's packaged wonderfully. If you need to buy crafting supplies, go ahead and check out Country Craft Creations. I can't say enough about them. That is all I have for today. I've already blabbered a, month, a bunch, and I just wanted to show you what I did in April and talk about what I'm planning to do in May. So thank you so much for watching and for following along in my Crafty Goals journey. Don't forget to check out the other collaborators and see there are some who really did a lot more than I did. So check them all out and see what they've accomplished crafty-wise. Thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.